Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Gruen, interventional cardiologist with the Heart Care Group. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to walk through your heart and explore the inner workings of your heart? Well, we can do that today. Behind me, you see the Mega Heart. It's a huge, inflatable, walkable heart model so that we can explore the inner workings of the heart, talk about different diseases that affect our heart, and how we can prevent them. So come with me as we explore your heart. So where I'd like to begin our journey is in the right atrium. The right atrium is where all of the deoxygenated blood that has already been used by the body's vital organs comes into the heart so that it can get pumped to the lungs and get reoxygenated for your body to use. So come with me as we enter into the right atrium. This is the tricuspid valve. With every heartbeat, the tricuspid valve opens and closes and allows deoxygenated blood to come from the right atrium into the right ventricle. The right ventricle is a smaller but still very important pumping chamber of the heart. It pumps blood that's been deoxygenated, that's been used up, to the lungs so that it can be replenished with good, healthy oxygen. This is the pulmonic valve. This is where the deoxygenated blood exits to the lungs. So off to the lungs we go. So after we finish our journey through the lungs, healthy oxygenated blood comes back into the heart, into the left atrium, which is on the other side of the mitral valve. With every heartbeat, the mitral valve opens and closes and allows the healthy oxygenated blood to come in from the left atrium into the left ventricle, which is the heart's main pumping chamber. That's where we are standing right now. The left ventricle is exceedingly important. It's a strong, muscular pumping chamber that pumps healthy oxygenated blood out through the aortic valve into the rest of the body. And I'm going to walk through the aortic valve right now. This is the aortic valve that opens and closes with every heartbeat and pumps blood into the aorta, which is where I'm standing right now. The aorta is the body's most important blood vessel and it connects the heart to all of the major vital organs and tissues delivering healthy oxygenated blood. Welcome to the outside of your heart. This is where the arteries of the heart, called the coronary arteries, feed the heart muscle itself with its own healthy, rich, oxygenated blood supply. These are the arteries of the heart here, what you see in red. This is where plaque can build up. This is the thing that we are most concerned about, particularly my specialty. When plaque forms within the arteries, you are at risk for a heart attack because not enough blood can get through and get to the heart's muscle. When that happens, then you can have a myocardial infarction, most commonly known as a heart attack. When there's not enough blood coming through this artery to the heart muscle, you get a big area of scar. That's dead tissue because there wasn't enough blood to feed it healthy oxygenated blood. We treat heart attacks a lot of times with stents to try to keep the artery nice and big and open. Sometimes when we aren't able to stent an artery, we have to rely on bypass surgery. And bypasses look like this. This is a bypass graft. It comes off of the aorta and feeds very nice, healthy, uh, oxygenated blood to the arteries of the heart, bypassing the plaque that has built up. This allows good blood to get fed through to the heart's muscle and keep it healthy and strong. Well, thanks for joining me as we took a journey through your heart using the Mega Heart. Cardiovascular disease is still the number one killer of Americans, so we all need to take steps to stay healthy and active and keep our hearts healthy. Thanks for joining me, and I hope it was a good journey for you.